Hello everyone, my name is Aramika Brown, also known as Encyclopedia on the Internet Online Community, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a button onto a sweater. Now of course your sweater, it may be a cardigan or some button down that you have lost a button on and you may want to add it to that. So today I'm going to show you how to sew a button onto the sweater, but we're going to actually be attaching it to the end of the sleeves. So first, we'll talk about we'll have our sweater. And then you'll of course need a needle and thread, and for this particular purpose we're going to use a lighter thread, but you want to use something that has a little bit more weight to ensure that you are securing your buttons properly. Then of course you need your button. So for starters you would then take the sleeve, since we're doing it at the end, right here. We would start by deciding where we wanted to place our button. And we would take our thread and we would secure it to the underside first. So there's any number of ways that you can do it. You can either start by securing it this way, or you secure it a little bit more tightly. And then now we're about to add our button. So now that we have our thread here, we would just take our button and we will go through the hole. And now we have, and it's actually called a button shank. Excuse me, a little mix up, of course it doesn't want to hold on properly. But anyway, so now we have it here, and this would be the first position of our button. Then we would go through the top hole again, pulling it through, and then this is where you can be. It's a great way to be. And then you would start by here going through to the other side. And then when you secure it, you have your button more secure there. And then we would repeat this process by going through the front and the back until we have covered through all of the holes that are on there, making sure that we go through each particular side properly and making sure, of course, if you are prone to sticking yourself that you have a little thimble. But basically you would do that. So now you're actually going to ensure that you go through a couple times on the top, from the top to the bottom. And then it's very important that you actually wrap around the thread leg. The thread leg is the portion that you're starting to create when you go in and out from the back. So at this point, you would have already went through a couple of times, and now you're going to wrap around a few times your thread leg. This helps to secure the button to ensure that it doesn't move and it doesn't slip. And if for some reason you happen to be too tight, you may want to maybe use a crochet hook or a toothpick to kind of give you a little bit of space in between. So you will finish this process off going through each side and then secure it on the back when you are finished by going through to the other side. Now let's take a look at a finished button. So as you see here, we have more of a decorative button that, that would be more appropriate for a sweater like this. And as we said before, we went through the back and everything, but most importantly, we wrapped around the thread, around what's called the thread leg, to ensure that there's more security on your button so you're not walking somewhere and it falls off. And we went through the front and back as we started on before, and this would be a finished button sewn onto a sweater. Thank you very much, and if you have any more questions or if you want to reach me, you can reach me at e at cocktailsandthread.com.